now. And so if they lose this round, it's not the end of the world. They could even go for a force buy and get right back into it. Oh, damn, what a shot from Henny. But he doesn't realize there is an army coming for him. He's smoked up on one side. Grenades are rushing in. He's going to get one more kill. Close range. Gets a headshot on that one. And finally, they take down Henny. But that's a remarkable triple kill. Dropping almost all of the Navi team. And he was alone. There's no cover or anything. They had him boxed in. They had so many grenades. And they couldn't take care of him. And that's going to be a rough situation here for the Vega squadron side. But they have managed to take the bomb side. Oh, that's a nice shot straight in the face. Crystal with another quick one as well. Looking for number three. Crystal. That is excellent work there with the orb. And that's going to be another round for Penta. They are his teammate very close behind him as well. And hoping to deny the bomb plant. Not going to find it. Perfectly done for Navi. They're able to back off. And now it's the after plant. Point blank from KNG though. Assassinates Guardian. And he can get the angle on a short as well, but Seize will find his teammate Lucas. KNG okay, trying again. Henny's there. The double orb is in a play, and it's the retake as well. It's so hard to do, but KNG gets a kill. Trying again. Henny tapping the bomb a single time. KNG getting one more frag. It's now a triple for him and Flamey. More in stories. Is still his T's are just still standing in the connector. Yeah, this is a pug round. Hey, Chet. He has an opportunity. It would be a very important fourth round, but he's got JR. He's looking for his fourth kill. Whoa. Won't get it this time. He so was there's, going there's in, a, James. Yeah, there's a there's a fourth round. JR in turn. At a long range, then you're going to be a bit more effective than the UMP. Oh, my goodness gracious me! Waylander 2-1 Thieves looking for number three. That would be outrageous stuff there from him. Already it is outrageous. That's starting with a bang in round number two from his favor of fate. Bomb getting planted, or perhaps not, not quite yet. Nico has to stand his ground. Electronic on the high ground himself. Last man standing, the bomb is down again. The one versus one, it's Carrigan, the in-game leader. The talisman for FaZe can he can't do it. Flip, 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 flip side, hello, have finally done it. 16 to 10, they've taken it over the line. They had so many rounds to do it. And eventually they did. An amazing stuff as well for the, the young blood for Electronic. The up and comer to What's the distance with. Oh, well, look, the aggressive setup here. This is uh, this is what Nobby like to do. Edward and Guardian at long. Edward pushed up by Tree, looking for the shots. He's got Guardian there as well to help him out. And eventually, Edward, is he actually going to find a kill or not? Somehow he's still alive. And there, finally, one headshot. Gets the second, looking for the third. And he's going to find that as well. Edward. And moving over to the second device to shutting it down. What was this? Like he said, it's been Fnatic been hitting those headshots all game long. But device, three kills in total. His teammates did their best to throw the round away, but they just about pulled it off with some good utility usage. Supri, he looks exhausted. That was a difficult game. That was not an easy win by any stretch of imagination. We weren't sure what Fnatic could bring on Nuke, but what a hell of a game that was. Still a fan of using the MP7. Well, very quick here. Skadoodle going to be under pressure at A long already. Looking to rush him down. Apex mid-air. It's a duck hunt. Finds the one. Gets the second. He's even got the setup for the third. It's Skadoodle. He's a monster. All three kills. G2 trying to do the best they can to run him down, but they just aren't. As one covers off, Glaive takes down Crims. Plant should easily come through. W has to go for it. Round 15 to start it. Got a chance there. Decent shot to kick things off as well. Low HP, Zipex in front of him as the bomb goes down. Now it's a 1v1. Up to Kiabi to deny him. JW looking fierce in the final round. Changes his angle immediately. Kiabi still anticipates it. There's no smoke to cover off the entrance from Hutt. So back through the window. He's changed again. And he's caught out Kiabi, who expected the doorway and found the window. Zero play, but... Dude, 20 seconds. Yeah, they need to go right now. Otherwise, these two players might just make it work. MBK's coming to try and see if he can backstab them on the side. 15 seconds there. Skadoodle is automatic as well. Where's MBK? He needs to crack it open once again. He's done so much already, but he needs to do just a bit more. Eight seconds, and he goes down to automatic. And Body's going to get dropped, and it's overtime between Cloud9 and G2. I mean, you can't fault MBK for that. He did everything he needed to in that one. That's such brilliant play. Oh, Molotov, in fact. Not quite stacked, slightly staggered, but takes away Ooh. positional control. Good shot, Pasha. Yeah, very good shot. That's worked perfectly. Snacks taking away all the way aggro as well. That pulls Dosia to connect. He's not looking it up around, but oh. Pasha keeps landing shots. Three in total, all headshots as well. Swing back for Adren immediate. Counter. Neo takes out two, so however, it'll give them room as he finds Adren as well. This will pull it back to two versus two. Watch for Taz. Just barely getting inside of the site. Four detected. If Mo had gotten even an inch closer in the AWP, he goes back towards Old Bomb instead. 
up to Doja to find room. M4. Well, this timing. Neo is looking away tentatively. Oh, God. Good work out for Doja, but Neo is ready and waiting. To Mo now. AWP might just save the weapon. That was a five on three. Plenty of money, but he doesn't fancy his chances. Out at always. You know, you don't want to call teams worn out necessarily, but, you know, FaZe, so good for so long, and then into this event, a slump hits. It, it, you question sort of what the schedule can do to the upper teams and how much that... Let's go on the right. Smokes up both top mid and all the way over toward Atrium. Taps and goes quick. Cold Zero is quicker. Gets a second as well as the ball will go down and follows it up. They're all lining up. Cold Zero with an ace. A beautiful one as well, and he's elated for good reason. Quick shoulder checks. Remember, M4 in this position. It's the AWP that's lit them up on a few occasions. And they are going to go toward the arch. So Tapson becomes a massive factor in the f watching through it from CT. In fact, he's going to flash good. through it. That's going to catch the double flash, double blind. Ligia doesn't peek on it. Ooh, Molotov does so much damage though because they're blind and they're in the flames and they're in the grave. Taps him with two. Fur has to be forced back off as another Molotov lands directly in front of him. the area, if you will. Good push from Gopi to capitalize. Backup plan is B. Phelps is opening it. Cold already has Gopi down, but he's got to run quickly and this has to be held. Taps and says no. It's on to Cold in a one versus three. Surely not. He's got a gun out, thankfully, because Tapson has gone by the smoke. Jumps up, no noise. Jumps up, no feet spotted. Jumps he's got up, sees cold. And Big is in the playoffs in their first ever major. 3-0 taking down world number one and world number three.